Let's uh, get more from our correspondent, Adi Doja Salam, Adi Lee, uh, for an assessment of uh, the first day of the enforcement on the ban of uh, or on commercial motorcycle operators, popularly called Okada, in former local government areas and in six LCDAs. Uh, Agboi K2 LCDA is one of the local councils affected by this fresh ban. Hello there, Adi Doja. What's enforcement like on this uh, day? Yes, it's a day of enforcement. It's the D-Day that uh, the Lagos State Government have been saying that is commencing the second phase of the corporation ban in the state. Um, Alakmere is a major... Hello, Ate Doja. ...here that they normally... Carry on, please. Those ones that we see, uh, the riders themselves without their bikes are hanging around to see the situation of things here. But don't forget that this latest ban is coming exactly three months after Governor Babadide Sonwoli ordered a total restriction uh, order on Okada in six local government areas and uh, nine LCDAs under them. The six local government areas include uh, 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 included Lagos uh, uh, Island, Lagos Mainland, Apapa, Sulele, and um, they were all restricted in the month of uh, June. So don't forget that the Lagos State Government also held a stakeholders meeting on the 15th of uh, last month, August, where religious leaders, traditional rulers, uh, members of the community development communities, community development associations, unanimously agreed that Okada should be banned statewide uh, because they said that even uh, after the 1st of June, first ban, they've been able to see reduction in the accident rates that concerns Okada within the state. The Labor State Minister of Health came up with its own statistics and said that with the reduction of Okada on the uh, major highways, especially from the 1st of June, has been reduced by 63.5%. That was precisely 176 uh, Okada cases in the month of June uh, compared to a month before that uh, ban which was made, uh, they were able to record um, 277 cases of, of HADA. And then um, the Labour State Government says it will be doing a lot to ameliorate the suffering for the riders as well as the passengers. Uh, Commissioner for Transport yesterday said that um, the state will be coming up with additional, uh, additional last mile buses, uh, about 200 of them, to fly through these areas that are uh, affected by the current Okada ban in the state. Remember, last year, Governor Babadide Sonwolu inaugurated about 500 of, uh, of uh, last mile buses in the state. Now he's adding another to ameliorate the sufferings of the people. And for the Okada themselves, the Okada riders, they said they can come up to the, the Ministry of Wealth Creation uh, for jobs, for skills, they can also uh, visit the Ministry of Agriculture if they want to learn farming. And then they can also uh, benefit from the Lagos State, Lagos State Employment Trust Fund to get loans or probably or come up with, um, come together and also get some of these um, last mile buses uh, to, to, to drive if they, they want to. But many of them that we spoke with actually said that uh, we spoke they, with actually said that uh, they they can't really do that at the moment. They are old. They are they, they, they don't think they can start learning things. But um, the state government. This is not the first time Lagos state government will be facing the issues of uh, of uh, Okada Okada Menez. Remember, during the time of Ashwad Walatunubu in 2006, he also faced his own. And then he reduced it, he reduced the movement of Akada bit, uh, for the, from the hours of 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Babasine Fashola signed the road traffic law on August 2nd, 2012, by stopping them from plying the highways, the bridges, and of course roads that are closer to the expressway. 
So these are some of the issues. Aki Umayambode in its transport sector reform law also reduced, uh, also came up with uh, three years jail term for uh, Okada riders and of course tricycle operators. It's only that this administration is not yet talking about the tricycles, but they said anyone now that, that uh, take Okada or the riders and the passengers, they are liable uh, for a three year jail term. TVC News Senior Correspondent Ade Doja Salam Adeni reporting live from the Agboi K2 LCDA uh, with updates on the takeoff of a fresh ban on Okada operations in uh, formal areas in the state. Many thanks Ade Doja for the updates.